jumping on the porch like mom's not home. not home. Tell me why the best things feel so wrong. So wrong. Summer nights, love them how they take so long. So long. What's up, guys? It's Josh, and we're back again with another video. Um, today's video is highly requested. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking for this for a long time. Today is actually the day that I will finally do a little bit of a uh, roommate interview. So, as much as you guys may think I live here alone because I never show anyone else in the videos, there actually is somebody here on that top bunk, and his name is Jake. Hey guys. Jake, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Jake. I'm Josh's roommate. Um, I'm the other resident of I-35. Don't tell my room number. <laughs> Okay. Jake, where are you from, man? Um, I'm from Washington, D.C. Um, Tenley Town, represent. Tenley Town. So you guys may know that I might be a little experienced with the cards and the, uh, the magical arts, but uh, Jake over here is also quite experienced also. Alright, ready? Three, two, one. Whew, that was clean. That was clean. All right, good job, Jake. I know in my videos I've talked a lot about my own high school experience, but uh, hopefully Jake here will share a little bit about what he did in high school and why he believes that uh, a school like Yale <laughs> um, called his name. Um, so I'd say that my main activities in high school, um, athletics-wise, uh, I wrestled for my school for four years, um, four-year varsity wrestler, um, and then um, outside of school, I actually fenced. Um, and I had my fencing bag in here when I moved in. It's gone. It's at the gym now. Um, and the other thing is that uh, outside of sports, um, I ran a club at my school, which was the Military and Political Strategy Club, where we talked about foreign affairs and current events um, and military history. I'd say those are the biggest things. Um, side notes, did a little bit of quiz bowl, a little bit of debate. Quiz bowl. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so I'd say that was kind of my main list of activities. This is kind of along the same lines, mm -hmm. but uh, Jake, in like more general, why do you think the Yale admissions officers picked you? Um, I mean, honestly, it's a good question. I wouldn't say I'm at all special or different than most other people. I think that in my application, I tried to be just as genuine as possible. I didn't try to, I don't know, make myself seem smart or anything I wasn't. I just tried to be be really natural, be myself. Um, also, just so show, like, learning makes me excited. Yeah. Um, show you how, like, I like to have a fun time uh, <laughs> with my academics. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> yeah. Um, I think those were the biggest reasons, just being genuine, showing that you're, uh, you're an interesting person who doesn't, you know, put on airs. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jake, uh, what are you studying here at Yale, and what does your uh, academic schedule and academic life look like here? All right, so first off, let me just say, I'm in DS. Um, <laughs> no, give, give but... Give people a little uh, intro into what yeah. DS actually is. So, um, my freshman year, I'm taking a program called Directed Studies, which is basically uh, a program where you go through um, a lot of the Western canon of books from like ancient Greece up to Rome through the modern day. So reading, um, we take a philosophy, a literature, and a history class and read just a lot of books basically. Um, at Yale there's definitely a stigma that DS students are really full of themselves and pretentious. Uh, how true is it? Uh, it's, I'd say it's, <laughs> it's pretty true sometimes, but we also are, there are also some good chill people. Um, so that's what my freshman year is like, and then my fourth class, so it's a literature, philosophy, and history class, and then my fourth class I'm taking is just a uh, intro economics class. Um, long term, I'm thinking about either majoring in history or global affairs, which is Yale's international relations major. Okay, um, what are your extracurricular activities and what's your life look, out, look, what's your life look like outside of school here? Yeah, so I, um, I walked onto the fencing team here and that's a pretty big chunk of my time. Um, we practice every day for two hours and then we go lift in the mornings. Um, in fact, I have lift uh, early in the morning on Monday and Wednesday, and then Josh has ROTC physical training <laughs> early, uh, Tuesday, Tuesday Thursday. Thursday. So one of us is always getting up early. <laughs> um, so that's a big chunk of my time. We go, and a lot of weekends we compete. Um, I was just at Penn State for a tournament. 
So that's a huge chunk of my extracurricular time. Um, aside from that, I occasionally wrestle with the club wrestling team, just whenever I have free time, and obviously uh, I'm in the Magic Society. Yes. Um, yeah, that's basically my main extracurriculars. Um, sometimes, you know, go to talks or events or things like that, but that, that's my main time commitments. Cool. Okay, Jake, so far I know we've, uh, we've only been here for like, what, two and a half months? Mm -hmm. What is your single favorite thing about Yale? Oh, what's my single favorite thing about Yale? Um, my roommate! Oh. No, uh, I don't know. Um, I fell in love with the architecture when I came here, and that's that hasn't disappointed at all. I love the buildings. Um, but honestly, what, I'm not joking when I say my roommate, because I really love the people here. Um, there are a bunch of really... Well, while intelligent, it's it's nothing like it's nothing like you would expect from like an Ivy League school. It's a bunch of really chill, down to earth people, um, who are smart and interesting, but aren't aren't anything like aren't someone you would be intimidated by or not want to like talk to because they you think they're out of your league or anything like that. Awesome, mm -hmm. that's good. What was our first impressions of each other um, upon meeting, or like? when we like found out that we were going to be roommates. I thought that Josh was going to be like way more of a jock than I thought he was. <laughs> than than he was. Like I mean like you did ba you did a ton of baseball and stuff, but like I don't know, my impression of you was like I thought you were going to be m more I don't know, I thought you were going to be more like stoic and stoic. Okay. stoic. I mean you are sometimes, but um <laughs> no, no no, I thought he was going to be more into sports and more like stoic. Um but I quickly realized, like within the first couple of hours, that he was a chill guy okay. um, and someone I could spend time with. That's good. That's good. Okay. Uh, I guess my first impression of you was like, um, obviously, like I remember like messaging messaging you on the Facebook page because mm -hmm. we both did magic, and like I kind of recognized we, before we knew we were. Really yeah. Still. So like he posted something on the Yale Facebook page saying that he did magic or whatever in yeah. his little bio, and I messaged him and yeah. we talked for like just a little bit, mm -hmm. and then. Uh, I actually realized when the roommate uh, decisions came out that he was the same person that like I had messaged like yeah. two or three months before, which was crazy. Um, yeah, and unlike myself, you don't have a lot online. No, I have in terms very of little media. online so I presence. And like when we were talking, like uh, texting each other before, mm -hmm. like trying to arrange everything for the room, we which mm -hmm. we didn't get anything. We kind of just we. Kind of, uh, yeah. Not yeah, really. we kind of just winged it yeah. um, before we got here, so mm. that, that was fine. And then, uh, yeah, I guess my first impression of you when we got here, like you seem like you got it all planned out, <laughs> like good scene, and like, like you're like a really busy guy, and like, yeah, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, well, I appreciate that, especially with DS fencing, and you're still like trying to do like club wrestling sometimes, like, sometimes. But like, you crazy. also, I mean, like you have ROTC like freaking like every day, pretty much. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's fun though. Yeah. We all, we all enjoy what we do here. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's all really it's fun. It's a busy time. Definitely. In terms of like how we interact in the room, um, do, you think there's, do you think there's a messy roommate among the two of us? I think that like, I don't know if there's like a, the messy roommate. I definitely tend to be messier. Um, and what, I think what happens is like, it goes in like a sine curve. Cause like <laughs> Josh is usually like, at like a pretty level I mean, I don't know. This I'm, is my I'm definitely messy, but yeah. like, it's like it doesn't ever like get out of control. Yeah, it never gets out of control. Whereas, like for me, like there's sometimes like I'm neater than Josh, and then there's sometimes I'm a lot messier than Josh, <laughs> and it like goes back and forth. So yeah. I think that like overall, I would be the messy roommate, but sometimes I'm the neat roommate too. Okay. So yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. um, and then like, who goes to bed earlier? D depends. I on feel like. I um, Depends on the night. I I never go to bed early. Like I have like a set like one o'clock bedtime every single night. Even if I have to wake up at five, I just can't get myself to go to bed earlier. And Jake Jake spends a lot of time in the library. Yeah, I don't know. So it depends. Sometimes I go to bed like early, like eleven, or like sometimes I even go to bed at like ten thirty. But then there are other nights where I'm like up until like five in the morning. Um, like yes. I literally, I literally before I turned in one of my papers. Um, I was up until 5 writing it. I come back. This guy... I come back here at 5.30. Josh obviously is asleep. And this guy, Walker, down the hall from us, is getting up to go to football yeah. practice <laughs> while I'm going to bed because I just <laughs> finished my... Oh, sorry. Excuse my language. I just finished my paper. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, good times. Good mm -hmm. times. Oh yeah, we should talk about like sleep shaming at Yale. Yeah, people don't like it when you sleep. Yeah, like if you get, if you get a lot of sleep, like people kind of shame you for it. Yeah, I like to think I get a lot of sleep. I shoot for between seven and eight hours every night, which doesn't always happen, but 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 I get like I'd say I just get I get consistently like seven hours of sleep, which is more than a lot of people I know. Yeah, I flip flop between like eight and three and a half, mm -hmm. depending on which night it is and how early you get up. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I've been.